Now it is the must-watch show. Everybody is talking about Baby Reindeer. It's number one on Netflix. It's a drama based on real-life experience of stalking, but it's so much more than that. Oh, well, stars of the show, Richard Gadd and Jessica Gunning join me now. Wow. First of all, congratulations, both of you. Um, you. Did you know it was going to be this absolute monstrous <laughs> runaway hit? Uh, I, I, I really believed in it. Like, yeah. I, I, I hoped that it would be received well. Uh, it's been out a week. It's been out a week and an hour at this point. <laughs> and so I didn't expect it to be to be this big a hit so quickly. Right. I, I thought it, it might maybe grow a little bit, be a bit mm. more organic, but yeah, I'm delighted. Yeah, it's it's been course. a crazy response. Because you did it on stage. I mean, you won an Olivier Award. That's very yeah. grown up. Oh. <laughs> it really is. So, you know, there is a, there is a sense that, yes, of course, it's, it's mm. a great idea. It's a brilliant drama. You always knew Jessica was going to be Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 It was, I, I, you always wanted Jessica for this part. Yeah, absolutely. I, I'd always seen Jess in various different shows and, and I always thought that every role you you, yeah. you you did, you brought this kind of amazing nuance to it. Always, always, always elevated everything you were in, I always felt. So nice, and it was just something about your essence on camera that made me think, mm. this is Martha, we have to get her in. She's so complex. I mean, it's called a, a, a story, and of course it is your true story about stalking. It is so much more than that. And, and Martha is so much more than that. And the fact that you play her, we are terrified of this woman one minute, and the next she's so vulnerable. I mean, she's a victim as well, isn't she, yeah. really? Well, I mean, it's all in Richard's writing, really. I read the script in one go, all episodes, and I just absolutely was hooked. And I kind of fell in love with Martha and Donnie and their storyline. I kind of saw it as like a, almost an unconventional love story in a way, from mm. her point of view, anyway. You and... obviously sound so different. <laughs> because you're, and I, can I say I'm Scottish here? We're both Scottish. Oh, yeah. uh, can I say... Cracking accent. Oh, yes, thank you I so honestly much. thought you were Scottish. <laughs> Didn't you? <laughs> so, yes. good. so to hear you speaking like that, it's like, why is Jessica talking funny? <laughs> it's just, it's amazing. It's, it is, but she's, that's the thing about this. It's not just, you know, normally when you do stalking, you see it, you know, in real life or you see it in drama, it's very, it's sort of quite simplistic in a way. There's mm. black and there's white. Yeah. There's good and there's bad. Yeah. It's so much more than that. That's the thing. Yeah, absolutely. I, 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 I remember when I was getting stalked in real life. I, yes. I, I do remember thinking, having these thoughts like, well, this is nothing like it is on, on television yeah. or in a film, where yeah. it's kind of you meet someone normal, they get a bit weirder, mm. they get sinister. It's very insidious. I, I really felt like I was met with someone who was quite unwell and needed help, mm. and that's what I wanted to bring to the screen ultimately. Exactly, because you give her a cup of tea, and you did that in real life, yeah. and from that one simple act of kindness comes utter chaos. Yes. And your whole, you see your whole life sort of unravelling, but not just because of this. It's very difficult to talk about it because I don't want to give it away for people no, that haven't yeah, seen sure. it. I don't want to give away all the... But honestly, you will have carpet burns on your jaw. <laughs> <laughs> like, boing, like that. It is, it is amazing. Thank you so much. And when you see that on, on Real Life, because obviously everybody can now knows you, knows a lot about what happened in that mm -hmm. particular point of your life. Yeah. Um, it's You've opened yourself up. It's very... very Brave of you to do that. Yeah, yeah. And showing that vulnerability, you know. Yeah, yeah it sometimes feels uh, feels a bit <laughs> mad at times that that, that that I have done that. But yeah, I I, I think you know we, we live in an age where I just thought it was the right time to sort of try and bring a nuanced conversation to something. I yeah. think the human human condition is extremely uh, complicated, exactly. and and I felt like a lot of the art and TV in this day and age had, had maybe simplified it too much. Mm. And when I went through this whole thing, it just felt like such a sort of giddy mess. I, I sort of just wanted to bring that to the screen with no moral agenda and just yeah. see what, what people thought. I mean, because I wonder when, you, when you're... I mean, obviously, it's different because you're playing yourself. You're playing this character mm. and it's not... It's based on your stalker, but not mm. really. You know, you've, you've obviously for dramatic licence, if yeah. you like. Yeah. Um, but to get inside the head of someone like that, you know, that, that must have been amazing as an actress to do that because she's so complicated. Yeah. Well, like I say, it was all my kind of clues for the character were really genuinely in Richard's script. I think he's managed to capture so many sides to mm. her and it's so nuanced. So and like you were saying, it's not it's not a villain and, and victim storyline. I think you're left with a lot more than that. It's kind of two lost people who find mm. each other at a time in their life where they, in a way, both needed each other. And that just sprung off the page as soon as I read it. Yeah. No, exactly. Yeah. Oh, it's, so it's amazing. How, I mean, you must have a huge reaction because something like this, where you're talking about about relationships, you're talking about mental health, you're talking about all of these things, and it does get very dark. Mm -hmm. It does get very, yeah, very yeah, dark. Yeah. But actually, you must be getting people saying, thank you, you've yeah. helped me. 
Yes. You know, yes. Yeah, because I thought I was the only one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not so much going through the stalking thing, but just the whole, you know, yeah. that Everything. complex yeah. emotion. Yeah, the whole thing. I, I think that's that's what's been most rewarding, really, in, in a lot of ways. I, I, I think when I was going through some of the themes in, in Baby Reindeer and some of the sort of awful things that I had been through, I, I, I did, th there was a great sense of sort of isolation and loneliness. Mm. And I, I think one of the biggest themes in Baby Reindeer is loneliness and totally. isolation. Absolutely. And I, I, I really, yeah, wanted to, to, to breathe life into it. I, I do feel like if something like Baby Reindeer was out when I was going through these things, I would have perhaps felt less alone. And, right. and, that's, and so these messages that I'm getting from people and all the comments, online and everything like that. It, it, it really does feel good right. when people are like, I've been through something like this and this has provided me great comfort. No, exactly, of yeah. course, and exactly the same from your point yeah. of view, you know, about Martha. Now look, we've got quite a lot in common. Yeah. Because yeah. you're from Wormit, which yeah. I know very well. So you've yes. got the Sanford Hotel in Wormit a lot. The Sanford Hotel. Yeah, just, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's wow, where we wow, had, that's that's where we had our honeymoon now. <laughs> <laughs> it was indeed. Well, wow, honeymoon in the Sanford Hotel. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's and we brilliant. both are Dundee United fans. Yes, we are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now yeah. you were going to get you got you were playing a, a part and you got mm. DUFC Dundee United Football I, Club on your. Knuckles? Yeah, that's totally look, right. Look I was, I was in. Um, I love that. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, I was in. A, I was in a show called Wedding Season. It was on Disney Plus. I played a psychotic, very different to Donnie Tan, a very, a very psychotic sort of character. And they said, "Oh, they were like, do you want love and hate?" And I went, "No, no, no. I want DUFC, London United Football Club, Fantastic. and the rest is history." And we both love. Morris Malpass, yeah. the legend, which gives us an excuse to show a picture of the great man. Oh, there he is. Now, who would have thought we're talking about <laughs> Baby Reindeer? Yeah, yeah. I and mean, we moved Morris, on to Morris Malpass. It's like a dream come true. <laughs> <laughs> I had a pussycat called Morris Malpass. Wow, did you? <laughs> See, That's we've got amazing. That in common if as well. I had a pet, I'd definitely, definitely call it Morris Malpass. Would you? Well. Yeah, you and must. it would have to be the two names, Morris Malpass. You absolutely, Malpass. no, you must. You must. And uh, if you want to call your pussycat Morris yeah, Malpass, okay. well, you have our permission. Yes, thank you. <laughs> it is so good to see both of you. Thank you, thank you for giving us one of the most amazing experiences and so, so different to everything else that's out there. And if you haven't seen it, I've tried really hard not <laughs> to give away too many spoilers because I'd love to do a big deep dive into this with you, but yeah. you've got to watch it. It's on Netflix now, so you can watch it whenever you like. And I guarantee you, you watch the first one and then you watch the whole rest of it after that. Half hour episodes, so it's oh, good. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks ever so much. Thanks for having Can't wait so to much. see what you both do next. Thank it's you. so Thank interesting. You. Thank you.